Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look at how much easier spatial joins are in uh, Manifold System Release 9 as compared to other GIS packages like uh, Esri's ArcGIS Pro or uh, QGIS. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, repeat the uh, famous uh, tutorial on uh, performing spatial joins. It's often part of the uh, QGIS tutorials and tips uh, collections that, that people read. Uh, so uh, you can see make an exact apples to apples comparison. And we're going to do it here. We're looking at Manifold uh, Viewer. Uh, which is uh, a free download from Manifold. Uh, you can download it and run it forever. There's no need to register anything like that. And Viewer is uh, Release 9. It's just a read-only version of Release 9. So everything that you can do in Release 9, you can do in Viewer, uh, except that it's uh, read-only. Uh, we're going to start by, and what we have here is a map that I created, which uh, has just one layer, and it has Bing Street Maps uh, layer, image layer, which we're going to use as a background. And we're going to add uh, two shape files. We're going to add a uh, shape file that gives the bars of New York as areas and also nursing homes as uh, points. I'm just going to drag and drop this from Windows Explorer into the project and there. That's how easy it is to import something into Manifold. And we're going to add uh, the, the New York bars layer to the map and drag and drop it into the map. And then over top of that I'm going to drag and drop the uh, nursing homes layer into the map, uh, which, which are the points. Let's style those points so that they're uh, you know a little bit uh, you know more interesting color. Now let's make them uh, this color there. And uh, so what do we have now? We have the nursing homes, we have the New York boroughs, and we have the street maps. And let's take a look at what's in the, in the boroughs table. And I can undo undock that table to um, you know, move it more conveniently around. And uh, what you can see here, it's, it's got these fields to it. It doesn't have any fields. What we, what we want to do is we want to add a field that has the uh, total capacity of nursing homes in each borough. So we call it total capacity. And uh, if you look at the uh, nursing homes table, the attribute table for the nursing home shape file, you can see that here each nursing home has a capacity. So what the spatial join will do is it'll take every nursing home that's in Brooklyn, sum up the capacity for that nursing home, and put it into the and put it here into the uh, borrows table with under a new field called total capacity for that borrow, say you know a Brooklyn. Uh, and I'm going to turn off this uh, New York table, this uh, table for the nursing homes. And this table I'm going to move. Uh, let's uh, let's tidy this up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And uh, Let's leave that uh, kind of in view, like right there, and we'll just work with the rest of it here because we can. You can leave all these multiple windows open at the same time. Okay, I've clicked on the map to put the focus there, and I've clicked on the New York bars table to put the focus there because that's going to be the the, the receiving uh, layer. And now I can do is I can click Edit Join to launch the Join dialog. And uh, what we want to do is we want to join into the New York bars layer the nursing homes layer, and we want all cases where the geometry of the New York bars layer contains the geometry of the nursing homes layer. So where every place where one of these uh, big areas contains those points, nursing home points. And what we'll add from the nursing home, home layer, we're going to add the field called capacity. And we're going to add the sum of capacity. And we're going to put that into a new field in the uh, bars layer called total capacity. I'll just make that a, a run on. I won't bother putting a space in between the two. So now when I click join, that's going to happen for us. Click join. And you can see automatically it just added this uh, total capacity uh, uh, field to uh, each of the borrows. Uh, that's a lot simpler than the way you have to do it in, say, Arc or Cube, where with Cube, for example, uh, when you do the join, you actually have to create a new shape file, which, which uh, you know, has all these different uh, fields in it and the total capacity fields. It doesn't have the ability to update you know, a layer kind of on the fly like we just did with Manifold. And uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to move this uh, somewhat off screen. And uh, let's, uh, let's format that. Uh, Borrows layer because I can now use style with the uh, with the uh, borrows layer and uh, we're going to format that based on the uh, total capacity layer and I'll do is uh, let's say with up to 100 uh, equal intervals I'm going to tally total capacity uh, and what I want to do is I want to do a uh, unique values tally that and let's uh, let's use a color brewer uh, I don't know, let's use a color brewer, uh, I guess it's called greens is a good one. There we go. Let's click update style. And there, what we've just done is we've uh, uh, thematically formatted each of the bars layer based on the uh, uh, the total capacity field from uh, light green to dark green. So that shows you that Brooklyn does Brooklyn does indeed have the highest capacities we can see from the uh, table. So there you go. It's that simple. Five minutes or less, we've seen how spatial uh, joins are really easy to do. What we've done is we've uh, dragged and dropped uh, shape files into our map and... Uh, We've uh, we've done a, a spatial drawing which takes the sum of each of the uh, nursing homes uh, capacities in each of the boroughs and adds that up to a total field called field called total capacity and then uh, updates the uh, New York uh, boroughs attributes table with that total capacity field for each. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. Tell your friends and uh, uh, download the viewer and give it a try. You'll enjoy it. It's uh, there's no strings attached. 
So thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.